my timeline for returning back to work. All right, we're currently going to Chipotle because it's one of the only places that we can eat at. We're doing this thing called the slow carb diet, which Marks and I are not dieters. I think the last time we dieted was like 2017 or something. And we did keto for a month just, or maybe six weeks, just to try it out. And this diet is just like keto, but in keto you can have dairy as your fats. Well, this diet, you can't have any dairy, so no cheese. So I want to know in the comments, do you guys have a Chipotle in your town or your country? Does it even have Chipotle? We have one like down the street from us. We are going to get bowls because we cannot have a tortilla. We can't have the rice. They just came out with cauliflower rice, I believe for the new year. So we'll be getting cauliflower rice and you could just do a salad bowl, either chicken, Mark says he's gonna do double chicken. I like the steak and then we can get tomatoes. We can get, I don't know if we're supposed to have corn because apparently corn's a grain. Um, I might throw some corn on there because that's my favorite. We can do the beans. This diet does include a lot of beans and they actually recommend eating a lot of beans. We can't do the cheese or the sour cream. Marcus loves it. I hate sour cream. Absolutely hate sour cream. Am I missing things? That's it. It's like all there is to a Chipotle bowl, I think. And guacamole, but I th we have guac at home. Unless you want to buy some guac. Gotta get back in time for the Liverpool game, so I doubt I'm gonna film Chipotle. But I will film my bowl once I get home. But I do know you guys clicked on because you are very curious to when I am going back to work. To update you guys, you guys all know they're bringing back 3,000 and I'm 4,000. They, Marcus is going to kill us because he's trying to get back for the Liverpool game. We have 10 minutes and he's driving crazier than I've ever seen him drive ever. So they had cauliflower rice and Marcus and I have never had it before. This is the first time so I'm intrigued. Are you excited? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. Yeah. So, and like also we are not, like to emphasize, we don't really agree with diets, but I don't know, I just felt like I really needed to switch up my current eating habits and the best way to make me eat different meals or learn how to cook different meals is if I go on to a strict diet, otherwise I'll just keep eating popcorn all the time and carbs and so this is a no carb diet which is really good for me because being gluten free like I've still found other ways to eat carbs and I really just want to be able to eat a few meals a day a few meals a week that have no carbs in them because I am a massive carb eater. You guys know I'm 4,000 to be called back and we are mid January almost late January and I have not heard from them. They say that they're only at like class 2014. There's 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So that is a lot of people to still be called back. I know people in 2014 that haven't even been called. I don't know, you guys give me your rough estimates of when you guys think I'll be called back, but they are saying they're gonna bring back everyone onto the line to be flying. I don't understand how that's possible, but I guess with the new president and everything happening, it's gonna be possible. And I'm torn because I want to be flying, but also in a month we have plans to go to Australia, less than a month at this point. So I don't know, we'll talk more about it. I'll give you more details when we get home. It is lunchtime. I'll show you guys what this. It makes the bottom of the bowl so wet. Look, there's so much moisture on this bowl from the bottom of this bowl. This is the cauliflower rice. So, I don't know, it doesn't look bad at all. It looks pretty good. <laughs> and that's what we can eat. We're probably only doing this for like 
a few weeks, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, maybe, because my sister is getting married and you know, if you guys have any vegetable suggestions, how you guys make your vegetables, I could use the help because I don't make vegetables. I just don't love cooking. And I just uploaded a video. You guys go check it out. I'm going to hang out by my computer for the rest of the day and respond to your guys' comments. Apparently, massive update with LAX. You guys, I've been waiting for this. This was great, exciting news for me. I don't know about you. Anyone that lives in Dallas is probably disappointed that I might not be going to it, but there is a chance that I could actually be back at LAX without having to wait because apparently there is the possibility we have a union and they're fighting for the ability to go back to LAX if you were previously there before the furlough. So I'm really hoping that that goes through and I get to be back at LAX before I go back to flying instead of having to transfer to Dallas. So if you guys saw that vlog, I have been displaced from LAX. That is where I live and where my airport is currently, but um, they've put me in Dallas. So I hope I get to go back to LAX soon. And we do get the option to bid for LAX soon also. Oh my gosh, Allison was so far out of the goal. We're watching the Liverpool game now. We're 12 minutes into it. It's the Burnley Liverpool game. With that update, Marcus and I are not planning on moving there or anything because there's a lot still up in the air. I will probably give an update on what that looks like moving to Dallas, but as of right now, I'm just praying that uh, the company gets it worked out that we get to go to LA instead of having to go to Dallas. Because I did, did you guys hear me talk about there was someone senior to me that bumped me out of LA? That was the case and then it is the case that I bumped someone out of Dallas. Like not everyone got to go to Dallas. So I'm not mad because I could have gotten another base that I didn't want. Cause I, what if I wasn't senior enough to hold Dallas as a base? All right, if someone else filmed me, then I could probably do daily vlogs and just chat and go. But I had to turn off the camera cause that Liverpool game was getting so intense. And Origi, oh my gosh, if you guys watched that, that was painful. My timeline for returning back to work is unknown. Like, let's just be honest. But a massive update is that they want to bring everyone back by April. You guys know how I was saying 3,000 by March. They want everyone back by April. There's 8,000 of us, so please do the numbers. Let me know if this is realistic because I don't know. January, we're 20 days in and they are into class 2014. Maybe I've seen like 50 people from 2015, but four months we have they're doing replays of the first half of this game. And I'm like, don't look, don't look. Oh so, yeah, what they're saying is you will see me back April. I don't know if that gets you guys excited. It gets me real excited. We gotta be in the skies. We gotta see my uniform. We get it all. We get the space buns, the lipstick. But I am really enjoying um, this time off and just like the holidays, it was so nice to be off. And I do want to do a video soon about the things that I don't miss about the flight attendant life. So that will be happening soon because we are doing a weekend of just events and festivities and that's gonna tie into my next video. Also you guys, a huge thank you. I am really excited. I don't show my subscriber count. I don't know why I don't show it. I could, anyone know like whether it's better to show it or not. So we hit 10,000. Um, I can't believe that. I'm really excited. I'm really thankful that there's 10,000 of you that enjoy watching and support this channel and we have common grounds of aviation and travel. So this is really fun for me and you guys make it really worth it being in massive lockdown. I know like London's on stage five lockdown. California's as locked down as America has gotten other than 
like uh, retail stores are open uh, and but to limited capacities and thankful that I have you guys cheering me on continuing to give me some sort of purpose on YouTube and letting my creativity come out love you guys and I appreciate you and thank you for watching all my videos and commenting and that really helps some of you have left comments saying like this is an underrated channel i wish more people knew about it well that is like up to you guys feel free to share with a friend and make this community grow and i'm really excited to see what happens in the coming months being back to flying and the videos that i can create in the next year Oh, so many things that I want to do around the world, chat about. So we will do that in the right timing. But for now, we're just going to anticipate me going back to work by April. And I am within, like, I'm way closer than 2020's class. So I probably will be flying soon. That's good news. Enjoyed this, like, me trying to eat better because even I ate the cauliflower rice update on the cauliflower rice it was not bad but I am such a texture person and I got fajitas and the cauliflower rice and the um like chunky salsa and it was just too wet for me like the the rice always soaks up the moisture and makes it more of a dry bowl I didn't really notice it I don't know it was two dollars extra I don't know if I'll get it again actually because anyone know how much nutrients is actually in cauliflower? I don't think I need to eat it or anything. It's not like spinach or something. That update, I'm so excited to go back to flying and just traveling again. Oh, so I miss traveling and I would travel so easily if it wasn't for everything going on in the US right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, it would be a really nice excuse to travel if work was like, hey, come back and um, fly to like Arkansas or something. So I'm looking forward to that with you guys. And if you guys do miss traveling, feel free to check out any of my travel videos, my flight attendant videos, there's a lot. And I will see you guys later. Bye.